Good morning, everybody. We're out here at the Placer Grown Farmer's Market at Fountain Sit Roseville. That's every Tuesday from 8.30 to 1 o'clock. And the Arts Council of Placer County has a booth out here today. You can meet a couple of our artists that are going to be on the tour on November 9th through 11th. They have watercolors, they have wood turning, uh, and they also have maps to make it easy for you to get out and enjoy the studios tour on November 9th, 10th, and 11th all throughout Placer County. And it goes on from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to pre-register on Eventbrite for your chance to win one of five of the $100 vouchers. That giveaway is November 1st, and those vouchers are going to be valid on the tour for any art that you want up to $100. So we're going to have five lucky winners, so make sure you pre-register on Eventbrite. Have a great day. You can learn more at placerarts.org slash studios tour. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Alana Van Altena and I'm here with Hannah Nicholson. Um, we are with Nicholson Blown Glass, soon to be Nicholson Van Altena Glass. Some of the things that we make here at the studio include glasses, bowls, and um, both functional and decorative art pieces. Everything that we make here starts essentially the same way with a little bit of clear molten glass at the end of a long pipe. Um, we have two different furnaces. One of them we use to uh, melt all of our clear glass. The other furnace that we have we use as a heat source. Depending on the piece that we're making, if we're applying color, we do so in three different ways. We use powdered colored glass uh, frit, which is just little chips of different colored glass, or we use bar color if we want a much more vibrant and um, cohesive color. We have to work in a team, and then once we get the glass to the size and shape that we want it to be, we'll transfer it onto a different pipe, and we'll slowly begin to open it manually. If you'd like to learn more about the process and see when we're open, you can visit our website at nicholsonblownglass.com or at our other website, nicholsonvanaltenaglass.com. I'm Cheryl Lewis, and I live in the little community of Ophir in West Auburn. Um, I love that a year ago I lived in a high rise in Chicago, and now I'm on a farm in what was a plum orchard which is useful to me because now I'm a wood turner. And now when a tree falls in my yard, I grab my chainsaw that I got for Christmas and I cut it up um, in very specific ways. It goes out to my lathe where I spin it into a bowl. Uh, when other people see bowls, I see stories. So I see the woman who called me from Sacramento and said, I bought my grandmother's land and her precious olive tree that I climbed when I was a kid fell down. And is there something you can do with it? So I went and I took her whole tree and I made her some bowls and now they're heirlooms for her. So if you want to learn more about me, go to my website, CherylLewis.com. I'm June Steckler and my studio is in Granite Bay. I make representational art as well as abstract art. And the inspiration for both is color and the world around us. So all the colors in nature, the textures in nature, the metallic sheens off the water and in the sky, those inspire me every day. And that's what I communicate through my art. If you'd like to learn more about me and what I do, go to junesteckler.com. Hi, my name is Frank Ordaz. I'm an oil painter. I'm in this year's studios tour. I'd like to invite you to come to my gallery. I paint a lot of southwestern themes as well as portraits. I also paint the foothills and landscapes. And I'd love to meet you and uh, you can see some of my work here and uh, mostly in oils. Come on down. If you want to learn more about me, then visit my website at ordazart.com.